to look good, right? Being modest doesn't mean we have to look frumpy, but it shouldn't become an idol. It shouldn't be the thing we prioritize above our characters. Hello, thank you so much for joining me today again. I'm so excited for today's video. Hope you guys are doing okay. Let me know down in the comments how you're doing. It's always like a part two of the video that I made on modesty, but today specifically is going to be contrasting modesty versus vanity. Vanity literally means to be vain, having excessive pride in one's looks, appearance, or status compared to that of others the focus of the last video that i made was mostly to do with modesty um being a heart posture as well as you know how we dress you know physically how we carry ourselves as daughters of god now in this in today's context the opposite of vanity is also modesty in the sense modesty is not placing such a um um excessive amount of value on one's appearance or like in someone's life it shows in the way you speak to other people it shows in the way you compare yourself to other people perhaps always thinking that you are better than other people while modesty is the opposite modesty is also linked to humility vanity you know it's literally from the word vain the writer of ecclesiastes talks about how vanity is literally something that is futile worthless um meaningless or empty if that makes sense right so literally it is vain it is vain to be vain it is vain to have a spirit of vanity because you're placing your value or you're placing so much like so much priority on something that's actually meaningless at the end of the day it's not that's actually meaningless spiritually what do i mean by this right if you're placing your outer beauty your outer appearance at a higher regard or standard than your inner beauty then that is vanity and the danger of that is pride that creates an environment where pride go grows more and more in the person because they begin to see themselves as better than other people because of how they dress it's like modesty is actually the opposite modesty cares about the inside modesty looks at that inner beauty that is pleasing to god as a woman we are more attractive as gracious virtuous women than a stylish snob like it's not bad in and of itself to dress well to look presentable right but when that becomes an idol when that becomes a god small letter g that's when there is a problem because one can look so good physically one can have the best fashion taste one can have the best hairstyles the best you know most out there makeup but then inside what do we look like inside um how do they view other people inside are they humble inside are they caring towards other people inside do they um you know puff themselves up to think that they are better than other people perhaps also because they have a really good job or perhaps also because they got the money but that is not pleasing to god that is not a beautiful spirit a beautiful spirit is very very important and that is something that the lord wants us to cultivate so everyone has different things that they are more likely to fall into like in terms of sins right when you first get saved perhaps your biggest stronghold was lying or perhaps your biggest stronghold was um you're obsessed with makeup not not as an art necessarily but literally because you your self-esteem was to the ground and you you couldn't even literally step out without makeup you'll feel so bad about yourself now that is one of the main things if that's your biggest struggle that is one of the main things that god would likely convict you of and want to heal you from so you can be free from that bondage right because it is a bondage it's a mental bondage and so um for example i've seen people who after they get saved for a period of time they don't wear makeup because god is healing them inside out god is healing their esteem god is healing their image of themselves god is healing their minds about beauty in general and then after a period of time perhaps months perhaps a year they, they get back to wearing makeup but this time now they're doing it from a place of contentment like yeah i look good wearing makeup but i also look good when i don't wear makeup so they they now become healed right is this is this making sense guys so what i'm trying to say is um um we have to be balanced in everything that we do it's not bad to dress nice it's not bad to look good right being modest doesn't mean we have to look frumpy but it shouldn't become an idol it shouldn't be the thing we prioritize above our characters as women so 
being vain, being obsessed about one's looks, having so much pride in one's looks, that is not pleasing to God. And so I'm making this video to encourage as well as challenge you if this is something you know you are struggling with or dealing with internally or perhaps you didn't even know it was bad. I encourage you to seek the Lord further about it, learn more about it and um, just allow him to heal you of whatever you need healing from allow him to pr prune out take away anything that is within you mindset um a heart posture that isn't pleasing to him the lord is able to deliver you from that the lord is able to take it away and help you to actually be free from vanity and have a more humble view of yourself and as well as other people as well a person who is very constantly be having thoughts like how do i look how do, how do i look like or what will people think like you constantly obsess with people's opinions and how they look on how people will perceive them um and this is what in, like influences how they then dress as well if that makes sense like again it's all about balance because it's not it's not like you never like ask somebody oh what do you think about my dress that's not what it means but like it's not like you never ask somebody like oh what's your opinion about my dress perhaps your sister or something but it's having not letting people's opinions cripple you to the point that you want to impress them so badly with how you look that's when you know that something is off charm is deceitful and beauty is vain but a woman who fears the lord she shall be praised our fear of god our commitment to god our surrender to the lord and actually you know being his um his um his vessels actually being his vessels that is beauty to the lord that is beauty to the lord not what we look like because trust me god doesn't you know qualify you to do something for him based on what you look like god doesn't choose you because you look so much better than other people like god thinks so much different from mankind the root of this could have been for some people the root of this could have been like maybe when they were younger they were constantly being made fun of and so now they're trying to overcompensate for that in through their appearance trying to make sure that they don't get made fun of again but you know healing doesn't come from overly being obsessed with looking in the mirror healing comes from looking at jesus christ healing our self-esteem and our sense of worth and just that contentment only comes through jesus christ to leave you with this encouragement that let's always remember to fix our eyes oh let's always remember to fix our eyes on jesus let it's okay to look cute it's okay to dress nice it's okay to have a fashion sense um but having in mind christ at the center of it all that is it for today's video guys a quick one um i would love to have a conversation with you about it so make sure to comment subscribe thank you for watching this video I that this video has helped you for light and i'm um, encouraged you on this walk that we are walking okay there's there's a lot we have to navigate as women as people there's a lot to navigate and it's my prayer that you know i would be a source of encouragement for you so make sure that you have a wonderful week guys god bless you take care of yourself remember to stay in the word and i'll see you guys next week bye guys